there's fish. There's a fish. Oh, it's caught a nice one right here at the put in. Good gracious. Oh my gosh, what a fatty. Good gracious. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. This is a hoss. I literally uh, tossed my spinnerbait right into the pipe and just kind of let it slowly fall out. I was reeling super slow. And whoa, bam! This smolly smoked it. It's a chunk. Look at that smolly. On that uh, sexy mouse spinnerbait. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> this is crazy. Three pounds. Three pounds. I can't believe I just caught a three pounder at the bridge. It's definitely got a big belly on it. If it wasn't for that belly, it probably wouldn't be pushing three. Let's go ahead and put it on the board real quick. It's a 17 inch small mouth. At the put in at the put in y'all I, I can't believe this this is just crazy let's send her back there's a fish oh another good one. Oh, that's a large mouth come here man Come here, Nick. Oh. Just another nice one. Uh, it's a fatty. It's a fatty. Oh my goodness. Two. Two over three already. I'm liking the averages here. That's two fish. At least over three that small mouth is three pounds and this large mouth is definitely three it's crazy. why haven't i fished this section sooner that's that's why i'm trying to figure out look at this y'all look on the spinnerbait sexy mouse it's the color i throw 100 percent of the time unless the water is just really dirty he wasn't getting off that one look at that man my jam off Oh, that's another 17, y'all. 17, three pounds, probably a little over three, actually. I gotta drop my anchor. Oh, gosh. I'm getting swept into this tree here. Uh, I gotta drop anchor here. This is nuts. This is just crazy, y'all. I haven't even covered a mile. I'm not even at a half a mile yet. It's just bonkers. This, this is shaping up to be a good day, y'all. Good day. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> this one on the scale. I would say 310. It's my guess. 310. Just another chunky large mouth. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Oh, my goodness. Three. It's not locking in. 3.13, come on. Lock in. He's just wiggling, wiggling his tail. 3.13, I was guessing around 3.10. Look at <laughs> that chunk. I think they're about to lay some babies, y'all. I think they're about to lay some babies. He's touching 18, y'all. 18, caught a 17 and an 18 within 10, 15 minutes of his trip. That's just nuts. Thank you, big girl. I am so stoked right now. I'm not even playing. Like, catching two fish before my intro that were both over three pounds. It's going to be a good day. Hopefully that's not uh, beginner's luck on this section where uh, that's all I catch for the rest of the day. Uh, but this spinnerbait is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to I'm a little excited this is a total new section to me I've never floated this section before it's only six miles um, 
I'm up in the Ozarks, way up north, Arkansas, and it's smallmouth heaven. Obviously, fish number one was a thick girl. Fish number two was a largey, which I'm okay with largemouth too, especially if they're that size. So, goal today is just catch anything that's biting. Uh, I'm literally at the half mile marker. Like, I've covered a half a mile and had probably five bites so far, two which were over three pounds. I missed a good one on the jig. I guess I didn't hook him good enough, but uh, so anyways, uh, it's a deep hole right here. It's a swimming hole. I might throw the jig down right here real quick before I pass through. It looks like I got some rapids up ahead. We're gonna work this area where the two creeks join and uh, get downstream. Stick with me, stay tuned, and hopefully it's gonna be a good day. A record breaking day. There's the fish, the little guy. This is the size right here I'd expect to catch the first few bites. <laughs> so, this is considered a bait fish, what I've been catching. <laughs> There's a fish. There's a fish. Don't feel that big unless it's oh, about jumped in my boat. A little assist from the anchor wizard, but got this little guy. There's a fish. Oh, that's a hard hookup. <laughs> I got me a little rock bass. A little gobble eye. A little pip squeak. There's some big waves right here. We'll get wet on this one. Woo! There's fish. Oh no. Shoot. There's one. By that big rock right there. This is shipping number two. He's fighting hard. He ain't that big though. Might have been just another little one like this guy here. A little uh, 11, 12, somewhere in there. On the Jage Jig. fish so it's it's not a very deep hole but uh there's a big boulder right in the middle of the creek here man he wanted that dude and there's a bunch stacked on that rock <laughs> about that same size 11 10 inches they're fun to catch though but uh i want to say i missed the bigger one like he dogged me pretty hard and i never did see him but uh it might have been over a pound but Anyways, uh, got the Jade's jig, peanut butter and jelly, just a go-to jig here lately. And I got the uh, trailer from H24 Outdoors, just that Berkeley little trooper, just a scrumptious pattern, especially for smaller sizes too. We'll see if there's one more there. I'm throwing it right in the middle of the creek and letting it drift by this big rock. I can see the shadow from it. It's not a very deep hole, maybe four foot deep. But it's right after some rapids and they're just loaded right here. There's fish. Oh, that's, that's a decent one. There's a decent one on this. Oh, he's in my anchor. Okay, we got him out. We got him out. This guy was a little booger. He's kind of got a golden look to him. He's pretty. But uh, look at that belly. This little guy is chunky. 
chunky butt right there. We'll go ahead and let them go. Uh, I'm casting right behind the shallow rapids. It turns green, the water. Usually indicates it's a couple feet deep at least. And that's where I caught him at, was right after the rapids into that green little pocket, and he smoked it. All right, we'll see uh, what the water temperature is real quick. My little handy dandy thermometer. All right, that should be long enough. The water temperature, it's uh, 55 degrees. We're getting close to 60. I've been tempted to throw top water, but I don't know. It might be still a little too early. But uh, just because the uh, when they're hitting my spinnerbait, they're not super aggressive. I've missed more than I've caught today, so I think it's still too early for top water. But there's a chance where I see any smallmouth getting super active today. I'm definitely going to toss a whopper plopper for sure. Oh, fish! That's a good one. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Stay on. Stay on, Bertha. That's a good one. Oh, he's taking me for a ride. Taking me for a ride. Oh, he's not that big. He's chunky, but he's not huge. <laughs> he's just thick. Just really thick. Probably a 13, 14. They're all thick today. There's a fish. There's a fish. He jumped the jig. Oh gosh. We're going out to the current. He choked it. Choked the jig. Oh, putting on a show. This guy choked the jig. I was actually getting a, as you can tell, I'm spinning in my kayak. About to run in to the shore here in a tree, all the above. I think I blew out this hole. This is my second fish, second quality fish out of this hole. I threw the spinner bait, caught that one while ago. Just caught this one. It's like a 15, 14. Probably at 14. Definitely over a pound. Another good one out of this one little spot. He is chunky. They, these fish are all just healthy. I think they're about to do the spawn. Oh, I just caught a big fish. My reel's messed up. My reel is jacked up right now. This is a good one. This bait caster is trash now. It's a goner. Man, he is dogging me. It's a stud, whatever it is. Uh, looks like a largemouth, maybe. He's coming up. Yeah, it's a largemouth. It's a nice one. Let's take a look. I may have to do some major surgery on this uh, pole here. It's my favorite pole. Look at that chunk. He's probably two and a half. He's healthy. Caught him on the trailer hook. He is 2.7. Locked in at 2.7. Another healthy largey. I'll take him. Beautiful fish. He, uh, I'm not going to measure him because I'm starting to turn back out here, but He's probably 16, 17. We'll let him go. Another beautiful quality fish. Go ahead and send him. He's ready. Oh, fish, fish on. Just got a small mouth on. He's hooked by the trailer hook. I barely grabbed him. It's a real deep pull here. He looks like a 13, 14, somewhere in there. Not a huge one, but still a healthy fish if you don't jump off here. Give me your face, bro. He's about to hook me. I don't like pulling me in by the spinner bait, but I was about to lose this guy. 
hooked them right in the schnosh by the trailer hook. That's how faint the bite's been. About 13, 14. Fish, fish on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. That looks like a good one. Stay on, baby. Chunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's got a chunky smallie out of this hole right here. I'm about to go into it, actually. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Sexy mouse. You know, that's how we roll in today. Look at that guy right there, chunk. Probably a pound and a half. Beautiful fish, about 16, 15 inches. We'll let him go. Yeah. Okay. I'm missing my micro pole. I wish I'd brought it now. I just didn't know if there's a lot of low hanging trees, which there is, but it's still been useful today. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, what, what a jumper, what a jumper. Healthy 14 right there, putting on a show. Putting on a, about to go in the rapids here. Come on. Man, he wasn't getting off of that one. There's fish, oh. Oh, he's going to jump. He's gone. Oh, that's a good one. I think he is. Man. He is putting up a fight. Can't tell. He might not be that big. He's pretty healthy. Come on. Whoa. Boat flipped a two-pounder. <laughs> uh, on a spinner bait. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been a big deal, obviously. Boat flipping, you know, two-pounder, but... It's a healthy fish right there, probably 15. He might be a pound and three quarters. Let's see real quick. Yep, 110. Almost two. There's another one. There's another one. Get a little run here. Oh. There's fish. There. Oh. That was a big one with it. That was a toad. Just a minute, bud. Get up. I gotta get back in there. Oh, man. That was a big dog. Not the big one I saw. Not the girthy one. Let's get back in there. There's fish. That's good. Feels good. Feels good. It's a healthy small man. Look at that pudgy one, yeah. That's definitely two and a half. Oh, blown right into the spot. Wind's picked up. <laughs> I'm not going to fish this anymore. It's probably 16. Let's get the scale on it real quick. Two pounds and three ounces.
two pounds and three ounces. He's bleeding. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water, but healthy, healthy fish. <laughs> Let him go. Nice. All right, we gotta go. It's a nice little run through here. Now this includes uh, me paddling upstream and reworking a hole a couple times, but uh, I'm at mile marker six and a half. So any moment now, I should be paddling up to this low water bridge and where my vehicle is at. It's been an awesome day. Caught a lot of nice uh, quality bass, smallmouth, a few largemouth mixed in between. Um, this last two miles looks awesome. I'm blown by so many good looking holes, but uh, my son's got soccer practice this afternoon, so I gotta go. <laughs> so if you stayed with me this long, the giveaway is about to be announced. Now I haven't technically did the drawing yet, so when I get home, I'm gonna post it in the video right now. So congratulations, make sure you DM me your uh, personal contact information, your address, phone number, that way I can get a hold of you and send you this awesome gift package. Shout out to Crescent, they also wanted to throw in on the giveaway. So I'm including this uh, bucket Crescent hat and this awesome t-shirt. So, uh, so initially it's just gonna be a few lures, but now it's gotten even better. So thank you Crescent. But anyways, it's been an awesome day. The baits I've been throwing mostly just to cover some water is this Sexy Mouse spinnerbait. And of course, Jade's jig has just been money here lately, this time of year. The water temperature has been 50 to 55. So it's just a great bait to throw this time of year and get some of those fat girls. <laughs> but thanks again for watching. And appreciate all the contestants who uh, enter in on the giveaway. Sorry I can't choose everybody, but uh, congratulations to the winner below. All right, we're gonna get uh, on downstream here. I think I've run into some chicken houses. It just got stanky. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next adventure.